everyone and welcome to today's Jaira's Messy Kids service. This is our last week looking at fellowship. So far this month we've looked at loving our neighbours and checking in on them. We thought about the stories of Paddington and Zacchaeus and how it's important to be friends with those it might be hard to be friends with. And in the first week we thought about Remembrance Day and the verse in the Bible that says the greatest love is shown when people lay down their lives for their friends. That's what Jesus did for us. I'm going to sing about that now. going to think about friendship, looking at what both Winnie the Pooh and the Bible have to say about it. Winnie the Pooh says this, a day without a friend is like a pot without a single drop of honey. Pooh knows that it's good to have friends, that friends are like treasures that each of us need. The Bible also tells us that it's good to have friends. It says this in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, you are better off having a friend than being alone because then you'll get more enjoyment out of what you earn. If you fall, your friend can help you up. But if you fall without having a friend nearby, you're really in trouble. Just like the sweet taste of honey, a true friend can make bitter times sweeter. We can be the honey in our friend's pots. We can make their life sweeter. We're going to watch a brilliant clip from Winnie the Pooh now. I hope you enjoy it. Go look for something to get us out of here. Okay. There might be something over by the pack. Oh, thank goodness one of us is up there. I was worried we'd be stuck here forever. Yeah, I found something. Here. What? Oh, well, that's a lovely flower, Piglet. Yeah, I thought so, too. Yes, Piglet, it, it's very nice. Uh, perennial. But I think we need something longer. Longer? <laughs> of course. Uh, how silly of me. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, good thought, Piglet. But you can't possibly think that that's long enough. Oh, oh, yes it is. Uh, Hal read this to me once and it was certainly the longest thing I'd ever heard. (laughs) Oh, That's true, Rabbit. It lags a bit in the middle. Oh, of all things, why didn't we think to bring a rope? Oh, well, uh, there is this rope. 
Spot on, Piglet. Do be a helpful little swine and get us out of here. All of you? Yes, Piglet. All of us. Uh, all right. And six. There. And now you can all get out. How very thoughtful you are, Piglet. Oh, good grief. Tie them together, Piglet. Can you tie a knot? I cannot. Ah, so you can not. No, I cannot not. Not not? Who's there? Poo. Poo who? No, Poo was... Piglet, you'll need more than two knots. Not possible. Ah, so it is possible to knot those pieces. Not these pieces. Yes, not those pieces. Why not? Because it's all for not. Oh, dear. I can't tie a knot. Oh, but there is something I can do. Don't worry, Rabbit. Piglet's very clever. I can tie a bow. See? Oh, for crying out loud, Piglet! I know, Christopher Robin has a jump rope. Ah, <gasps> wait a minute. My gracious, that's it. Uh, Piglet, go to Christopher Robin's house. Oh, I see. Yes, Piglet, go and bring some honey. Yes, bring some honey. No, oh, the jump rope, Piglet, the jump rope. With little honey on the side. You mean all by myself? Through there? Yes, Piglet. Through a dark wood fraught with peril, on a mission of life or death. It is a task of great complexity, but I have full confidence that you shall return victorious and rescue us from the abyss. Go forth, Piglet, and we shall await your return for weeks if necessary. Owl? What? I can't believe how wonderful that speech was. I can't either. Move me to tears. All of Pooh's friends are very, very different. And our friends come in many shapes and sizes too, don't they? Having a diverse friendship group expands your horizons and opens you up to more of the world. Surround yourself with different people, with different interests and strengths, and life will never be boring. Friendships only work when we allow our friends to be different from us and accept them for it. Piglet says this, The things that make me different are the things that make me. Rabbit accepts that Pooh is going to eat all his honey. Pooh accepts that Tigger just isn't the same without his bouncing well. No one's chased here or out of the hundred acre wood yet. He just was as he was and his friends accepted him that way. Let's do the same. Let's accept our friends and the people around us for all the many wonderful differences they have. To the beat now, shout! Get up, jump, jump on your feet. Lean right, left, rock to the beat now, shout!
Winnie the Pooh says this, We will be friends until forever, just you wait and see. And it says this in the book of Proverbs and the Bible in chapter 17, A friend is always a friend. We have so many ways now to keep us connected that we don't ever really have to say goodbye. So friends really can be friends forever. Jesus also offers us a friendship that will last until forever too. And just like how we have lots of ways to stay stay connected to our friends, we also have lots of ways to stay connected to Jesus. Through reading stories from the Bible, going to church, talking about Jesus, following his example of how to live, praying, all these things can help us to stay connected to him. And we're going to pray to him now. Dear Jesus, thank you for all our many wonderful differences. We pray that you will help us to accept our differences so that we will grow strong, exciting, interesting, fabulous friendships. Thank you for your friendship that will last until forever. Help us to stay connected to you too. Amen. Next week will be our Messy Sunday Christmas special at Jaira. We can't wait to see you there. For those of you who can't make it, we will still have our Messy Kids video online next Sunday. We hope you have a great week now. Take care. Bye.